are now tuned into Southern Soul Saturdays with Donna Jean. It's Southern Soul Saturdays with Donna Jean. Bringing you Southern Soul news and everything behind the scenes. It's Southern Soul Saturdays with Donna Jean. Bringing you exclusive interviews from Southern Soul Kings and Queens. It's Southern Soul. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. With Donna Jean. Hey, it's me, your girl, Donna Jean, just like my jiggle just said. How is everybody tonight? I hope you have been enjoying this beautiful day that the Lord has given us on Southern Soul Saturday with me, your girl, Donna Jean. I am so pumped and ready for this interview tonight. I'm interviewing a young man, and believe it or not, guys, I haven't met him personally. <laughs> His name is none other than Mr. Rico Kaysen, and he has several, several, I mean, he's just like all over the music world. His resurfaced CD is out on all musical digital platforms right now, Mr. Rico Kaysen. And guess what? Right before I bring him in, I'm going to bring a special announcement in for you guys. You're going to like this one. Hey. It's the 8th annual Tri-State Family Reunion Mother's Day Weekend Saturday, May 8th at the National Peanut Festival Fairgrounds in Dothan. Are you ready for Calvin Richardson? K Soul, West Love, Tucker, Fat Daddy, Avail Hollywood, King Sal, Mr. Smoke, Stacey Adams, Jeter Jones. Get your tickets now. Log on to TriStateFamilyReunion.com. Only a limited amount of $35 tickets available. When they're gone, the price goes up again. The National Peanut Festival Fairgrounds in Dothan, Saturday, May 8th. It's BYOB, no glass, no grill. Hosted by Marcus Cage, DJ Flake, and Lucy. Vendors call 334-733-5392. So, you know what? If you haven't got your ticket... Lean in, let me tell you something. You better get your ticket because I got my ticket and I booked my room. I was there last year, and guess what? They said, this is what I heard, that if you missed it last year, you got a chance to maybe redeem yourself because it's going to be off the chain. All right. So with that being said, let me see if I can find my guest for tonight, Mr. Rico Kaysen. Hey. Hey. <laughs> everything lovely. How about you? Everything is everything. So, Mr. Rico Kaysen, I want to welcome you to Southern Soul Saturdays with myself, Donna Jean, to the SOS show. And I want you to tell your our audience about Rico Kaysen. Um, I'm Rico. Rico C. I'm out of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, been doing the music for Oh, 20 plus years. And uh, I guess never really, I guess it was kind of fun things when it come down to the music business. But I, you know, I used to travel with a band and I had my own band. So okay. you know, we, we did, uh, we did show with a little bit of everybody, man. Uh, let me see here. Denise LaSalle, Theo, Sir Charles. I can't, I can't, but see, I came along when, when it wasn't Southern Soul, it was just blues. Yes, you know and it was just blues fest, and everything was blues fest. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm very familiar with a lot of the old heads. That's it. In the Southern, mm -hmm. world. um, I've been doing it for a while. So, you know, I've I've opened up on on the on the mainstream platform. Also, I open up for Rick Ross. I open up for uh, Keisha Coles. I went to the NBA All Star game and sang at LeBron James birthday party. I mean, I just got a host of just a ton of things that I've accomplished in the music mm -hmm. you know, and um, just started, started writing in which I wrote my first album. Uh, my first album is entitled what's on a man's mind. I did that in 2007. 
Okay. And I kind of got away from just, you know, focusing on just individual uh, projects or whatnot and start, you know, traveling with my band, um, <clears throat> just doing, you know, state fairs and weddings and parties, clubs and stuff like that. But we were doing more cover music. So, you know, I just some just struck me. I was like, man, you need to just start going back producing and doing music, writing your own, you know, writing your own track. So. Uh, one of the first tracks that I did, I came back with uh, the country scoop, which is a line dance, which I got my home with Big Moochie on there. Yeah, um, that's one of the first songs I came back with. Then another song I came back was um, the juke joint. Um, wrote that song for uh, shots out to Mr. Theodis for for helping me and and allowing me to you know him to bless the track with me. Then I came out with another track with Big Moochie, the Trail Rider Shuffle, um, that was done here in my studio in South Carolina when Moochie came to um, a concert that we had here. We had a uh, man, we had we had a big concert here. Uh, we had Bishop Bullwick, Theodis, Nelson Curry, um, Urban Mystic. Uh, let me see who else. Joe Nice. Mm-hmm. We had a host of artists on that, on that, but we 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 normally on in here, um South Carolina we do one one you know big show a year. So y'all yeah, keep your ears open. We got something that we cooking up right now. So so what you mentioning, uh, Big Moochie, which I love Big Moochie, um, and the Trail Rice Shuffle. Um, I remember when you all were um, you were asking for people to come for the to do the actual video. Mm-hmm. I was I was like, mm, hey, Charlene, should we go? Hmm. The only reason we didn't come was because it was during the COVID and we were just kind of skeptical about coming because we didn't know, you know. But then the day that you filmed it, Big Moochie had gone live a few times during the filming. And I was like, oh, man, I could have put my boots on and went on out there because they y'all was out in a nice big open area. So. You know, and I really applaud you because even though it was COVID and that was at the height of COVID, you all had everybody spaced out so well to do that video. Now, I, I'm giving you your credit for that one. Y'all, y'all did that video really, really nice. I, I did. I was, I applaud you for that because you, I saw everybody had their mask on and, and everything. So it was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we had a blast. I was trying to come, trying to be in the video. I'm gonna get on one yet. Mm. We got one coming. We 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 got we got a host of things that we're working on that like under the rug right now. So just stay tuned. Uh, I promise you, we got we got a lot of music, man. I and, and the crazy part about it is, uh, I got so much music stored away. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I I probably got another two albums just stored away. Um, um, I had lost my hard drive. Uh, of like many years of work that I had, and and it, it took me it took me a couple months to get it recovered, but I recovered all my music, and now that I have a, a outlet to recover, I got another hard drive loaded with music. So um, I'm gonna get that done probably in the next month or so. It's it's very expensive, so um, okay. but I got I got a host of just tracks and music and songs that I start writing on. Um, I, I was looking at my notebook that I got and I got stuff wrote back from like 95, just that, oh. I, didn't even, that I hadn't even, even attempted to work on it, just the lyrics, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, so like I got one song on my album called Soulmate on, on this album. I wrote that song probably 12, 12 years ago. Okay. Yeah. So, so like, I just got a lot, a lot of music just kind of sitting, and I got, I got a lot of artists and Southern Soul artists, you know, uh, that's reaching out to me to, 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 to get music or whatnot. So, I guess my name is starting to resonate with people. You know what I mean? Yes, it like, is. Um, I guess you know the people talk like, where does Cat coming from? Coming on the scene, thinking he, you, yada, yada. Yeah, well, see, some people didn't do the homework. You know what I'm saying? Some didn't do the homework. You know, I've been around it for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I've been long, around it for a long time, but I never really took it serious to the point to where, from an artist's standpoint, we were just tickled to death to go open the show up. You know what I'm saying? For Sir okay. Charles and uh, male waiters and people like that. Rest in peace. Um, I mean, we were just, 
yeah. you know, just tickled just to do that. But we never had anybody on our side to actually give us the knowledge base to 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 go to the next level with artistry. You know what I mean? We'll yeah. get up there, and, and I remember, I, I remember um, doing a show with Calvin Richardson for for the uh, one hundred and seven point three jams. Uh, they had a big festival, and um, we got up there and we did the Bobby Walmart. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, yeah. yeah, Y'all got up there and killed that, so ain't no use of me really even worrying about doing that one. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, you know, I've done one, two. I think about three shows with Calvin Richardson. Um, I did another show with Calvin Richardson. It was in North Carolina with Brian McKnight, myself, Calvin Richardson, David Hollister, and somebody else. But, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been, I've been kind of like slow rolling around him, but I'm starting to come up out the ground a little bit, I guess. So if it's if it was an artist, because I know you say you've been around for a long time and I know you've worked with quite a few of the artists that are, I would say, that they're well rooted in Southern Soul. Is there someone that you haven't worked with that you would like to work with? Yeah, but I, I ain't going to call their name because I reached out to them. You know what I'm saying? I reached out to a couple artists and, and I, I don't know, you know, if they they're on the higher echelon mm -hmm. um, in the music game and they don't want to work with me or or whatever, you know what I mean? I I've, I've reached out, but uh, those shots out to the one that has, but just a gold nugget, you ain't gonna stay hot forever. So remember, you know what I'm saying? What I, what I don't do is I don't try to bash nobody or anything, but that's why I say if it was somebody that you would like to work with that you you know, like me, I would just love to be able to sing. I'm just because I, I I'm not a singer. I don't sing and everything. So you know, I would just love to be able to sing and any note. Carrie, um, probably TK Soul. I I I, I like TK Soul, man. He just uh, you know, he just uh, I just like, like music. That. You know what I'm saying? Like Liking music and like I say, I I think we can make a we can make a banger. I I just feel really good you know what i'm saying but you know it's it, the business part got to be handled too you know what i mean so yeah i feel like you know myself and tk soul can make a make a jamming because the it, it, cat put it down okay okay I, okay I, I can go along with that tk tk soul did you hear that rico would love to do a song with you so if he's listening and i hope he is and i hope y'all can make that connection you know that's just, you know, I just always ask if it was someone, sometimes people have told me people that, you know, are that are no longer here, that that was a person that they would have loved to have made a song with. You know, that's why I always ask, because it didn't have to be someone that you had already reached out to or whatever. So, yeah, and Mel Wade was one of my favorite, all time favorites, you know, oh. he for us. Let me tell you, he was in Detroit a few months before he pass at the um they come once a year to the um fox theater or to the music hall or whatever the blues concert we had so much fun that night and then a few months later he was gone that just kind of like just crushed me i mean because we had just he was just so down to earth we were backstage with him and just had a had a really really nice time he, Bobby Rush, all, you know, all of those guys were here. And um, so that that kind of hurt me when he passed, you know, because I had just seen him in concert and everything. So, yeah, Mel Waiters was, rest in peace, Mel Waiters. But One of a kind. He was the yeah. guy, yeah. Yeah. We've had a lot of greats that we've lost, I mean, in the Southern Soul world and, you know, blues. In the music industry, period, there's been a lot of loss, but yeah, he was one of those guys that he was so down to earth. He's like, Yeah, y'all come on back here. And I was like, Me, come back there. I was like, Okay, come on. <laughs> like, hey. mm -hmm. Yeah. Know, it always but, you upgrade your ticket sometimes. So. Yeah, and that's another like Mr. Theotis, uh, Big Moochie. Uh, shouts out to my. My my team, the three O Country Boys, and anybody that's supporting uh, Connect the Dot Management, um, who managed me, that's Tracy Hatworth. Uh, mm -hmm. shout, shout out to 
all of them, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, the support, you know, it's the, the music, man, it's, it's, it's really starting to get, it, it gets, it's, it's like flowing. It's just running out of me now. You know what I mean? I thank God again yeah. for the, for the, for the blessing, but, but it's, it's like, you know, I, I woke up, it's been like maybe a month ago. I just woke up out of my sleep. Like, I guess I was dreaming, but, but I had the song in my head, you know what I mean? Um, to the point to where I could finish it, but I, I immediately grabbed my phone and, and sang the song. Like, and then when I when I woke up the next morning, I was thinking to myself, like, what did I really sing that? And I and I played it back. I was like, wow, you wake up out your sleep with a tune like that in your head. It, it, it ain't no nothing but God. You know what I'm saying? Shower down the blessings on you. And, and again, I, I I thank God for the gift of music and song. So, you yeah. know. I, 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 if for for the music business, you know, I respect every artist, but at the end of the day, I am a respectful competitor because I want to be the best. You know what I mean? So if people, you know, look at me and say, "Oh, he's trying to be Eric," he's trying to take over. No, not that. I just want, I just want people to respect the gift that I got. You know what I mean? And yeah. just make room for what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Don't. It's, it's a lot of people. You know, they not really not going to cater to you or they're not going to give you the opportunity because you put a lot of pressure on some of the ones that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, that's just business. But again, I, I just like a basketball game. You ain't going to keep playing children. You want to play somebody that's going to give you some competition. You know what I'm saying? But it's respectful. At the end of the day, we shake hands and keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Just know that this cat right here, from South Carolina, he's he gonna he gonna make it get, get working. He's gonna make it get to working when I come out there, you know, do what I do, you know. Okay. Y'all heard what Rico Carson said. Okay, I'm sorry, Kason said. You gonna respect him. So um Rico, um there has been so many people that um, haven't been able to put on their concerts. I know you have quite a few upcoming events. I, I've been watching like on your page that you have posted. Um, if you have something coming up in the next week or two that you want to talk about, you just, you know, you can feel free to talk about that. Cause like, you know, this is not a pre people think always think that the, um, interviews that we've pre, um, talked about what we were going to talk about. And I just want people to know we don't. So this is just like off the fly, but I do want to know, is there a concert or event that you have coming up that you want to talk about before we um, show your video? Um, well, March the 20th, we'll be, uh, I'll be down in Mobile, Alabama, hanging out with uh, DJ Urban Shoemaker. Uh, we're doing a show down there with him, um, myself, Mr. Stuff, and David J. So we will be in Mobile, Alabama. Then um April the eighth, eighth through the through the eleventh, we'll be in Yorkville, Georgia. The three old country boys, myself, Mr. Stuff. Uh we're gonna be at the 101 Backwood Riders United Trail Ride. So we're gonna be we're gonna be out there kicking up the dust in in the bushes. Right. Oh, the, that's, that's, where we the first day, video. that's gonna be a three day event. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be uh it's gonna start on that kind of lightly on that Thursday, I think. But okay. whatever the eleven did, it may be yeah, on that it's gonna be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um one more thing. I know um you and I when we were talking earlier, um I just wanna send a special prayer out for your mom that is dealing with being ill. So, you know, I just want everybody to know, please. Take a moment and pray for him and his family as they deal with their, his mother being sick um, and everything. And now I want you to tell me a little bit about your video in my bedroom. Um, It's just a, you know, that's just a vision. You know what I mean? It came to me and like, like, you know, most of the time when I write songs, I just get in a place where I can, I can focus on a scenario or a situation and, and, and write about it. So um, this can't say per se something that, that went down, you know what I mean? 
but it may have been something that went down and you can just kind of take a piece here, take a piece there and make, make that puzzle match and, and make, just make beautiful music, beautiful okay. music. Okay. So without further ado, here is your video in my bedroom. Video by the directors. What's up, lady? Tonight is your night. So I want you to sit back and let me take control. But if you feel you need to drive a little bit, I'll back up. I'll let's do it.
That is a beautiful song and video. Thank you. I just see that being a number one hit. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. You are so welcome. So Rico C, tell me, um, in the near future, I know you say you have a lot of music and I know you do different types of music other than Southern soul, but within the Southern soul genre, um, are you doing something more like what we just saw or will it be something closer to like songs you do with um, Big Moochie like Trail Ride Shuffle? Will it be? Um, <clears throat> well, I've been tasked. I, well, I got the next probably three or four songs for it probably about yeah you know, about four four songs. I, I got I got to do these tracks for for Southern Soul artists. Or, I mean artists. Mm -hmm. So so um, I got a couple people that I'm I got to get these songs out. So if y'all hear and I had got them to you, don't bust me out because I'm working. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, but yeah, I, I've been tasked to, to do a couple songs. Um, some artists have have reached out to me and okay. my team to do some music for them. So, um. It, it, it'll be coming out here soon. So, so yeah, in my next, I got, I got a song that, you know, it's kind of like in my head. I, I want to go down and go in on like one, one, just, just a Southern soul, just go in hard on one. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but I got, I got another track that's, that's coming out too. Um, we hadn't set a date yet, but I just did a track with beat flipper. Um, oh out of Dallas. So we got a song coming out um here soon. So keep your ears old man. I'm 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 dropping them. I'm dropping them like 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 bums. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well we're gonna have our ear to to the wall to hear them. And yeah. um, I really appreciate you granting me an interview, um taking time out of your busy schedule to you know hang out with me, Donna Jean on Southern Soul Saturday. So I will um, talk to you soon. And everybody, guess what? It's time to go. Me and Rico Casey, I know he's busy and I got a lot of things to do this late Saturday evening. But guess what? I will see you next week on Southern Soul Saturdays with me, your girl, Donna Jane. And until then, please stay safe. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and let's try to combat this COVID so we can all be free to go here and there, to and fro. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.